All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over mass percent composition. So to calculate the mass percent composition, or simply the mass percent of a generic element, which I've called X, what you do is you take the mass of X that's in one mole of the compound, and you divide that by the mass of one mole of the entire compound. And then you multiply that by 100% to express it as a percentage. So suppose I have CO2. And what I want to determine is the mass percent of carbon in CO2. So to determine the mass percent of carbon in CO2, we're going to say that the percent carbon by mass, or a mass to mass percent, this is just another way of expressing mass percent composition, is equal to the mass of carbon in one mole of the compound. So what is the mass of carbon that is in one mole of CO2? Well, if we look at our periodic table, we'll see that the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. And if we take into account how many carbon atoms there are, there's only one carbon atom in CO2, so times one. So we're done with our numerator, now we have to attack our denominator. And we're still gonna be left with our 12.01 grams per mole times one from the carbon, but now we also have to add to that the mass of oxygen that is in one mole of CO2. So the molar mass of oxygen from the periodic table is 16.00 grams per mole. And then since there are two oxygen atoms, we have to multiply this by two. So if we carry out this calculation, that will give us 0 0.2729. And then don't forget we have to tack on our times 100% to express this as a percentage. And that's just going to be equal to 27.29% carbon, and that is mass to mass. So that's how to calculate the mass percent composition of carbon in CO2. So suppose now we wanted to calculate the mass percent composition of oxygen now in CO2. So how would we do that? So we're trying to calculate the mass percent uh, composition of oxygen in CO2. So in our numerator, we're going to get our mass of oxygen that's in one mole of this, of this stuff. So our numerator is going to be 16.00 grams per mole times 2, remember because there are two oxygen atoms in CO2. And you can't see that. There you go. All right, and then our denominator for the mass percent composition of oxygen in CO2 is actually going to be the same as when we were calculating the mass percent of carbon. So the 12.01 grams per mole times 1 plus the 16.00 grams per mole times 2 from the oxygen. Both of these denominators are the same. So if we put this expression through in our calculator, it will be 0 0.7271. And then don't forget to tack on our 100%. And tacking on the 100% is easy. We just move the decimal point two places to the right. And that will give us 72.71. And this is percent oxygen mass to mass. So now we've calculated the percent composition by mass of oxygen and carbon in CO2. 
and if you want you can actually check to see if these are valid by seeing if they sum up to 100%. So in other words, since my compound CO2 only has two elements in it, then the sum of their mass percent compositions ought to be 100%. So if I add 72.71% plus 27.29%, that should give me 100%. So there you go. That is how to calculate the mass percent composition of any element in any compound.